Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to show you some new clothing bits that I've picked up recently that I thought you might like to see. I'm filming this video at nearly, it's nearly four o'clock and <laughs> it's almost dark outside, which is ridiculous. So I'm sorry if the lighting in this video is completely mental, but I just really fancied sitting down and filming for you guys. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> As always, everything will be linked down below and yeah i really hope you guys enjoy this video starting off with this jumper from h&m which i actually saw on one of josie's vlogs the other day and i just thought i need that <laughs> and this one again is in their wool alpaca blend which is just my favorite thing that they do with their jumpers so this one has really nice detailing on the shoulders it gives that sort of fake padded shoulder look and then it comes into this slightly puffy sleeve which has a nice cable knit detail down it and then the front and back are just plain knit with no like chunky cuff at the bottom and it actually looks really nice with skirts and dresses it cuts off a really interesting part um somewhere i wouldn't think would be flattering but it actually looks really flattering and like josie said in her video it does look really high end so definitely a good high street find of a jumper this one i am so excited to start styling this i also think this jumper would look so nice as like a whole cream outfit like everything is white or cream i really love doing outfits like that but it is hard when you have a little puppy that often has muddy paws and jumps up <laughs> this next purchase i have instagram to blame because they popped up with an advert <laughs> um but i have actually had my eye on this dress for a while but it's just been too expensive for what I can justify. But All Saints were having a big sale on and I'm pretty sure this is probably gonna be in the sale still, but this dress I've had my eye on since the summer and it's just the most perfect broidery anglais mini dress. It's just so stunning. I love this detailing at the front. Again, it's at a really nice position in my body where it's not too high up. Um, because often when things are too high up, it makes me look very out of proportion. But yeah, I really love how it sits sort of on the hips and then goes out into this nice mini skirt that isn't too short. You would definitely need to wear nude underwear under this. It's got one big zip down the back, which is super handy to get in and out of, and little cuffed sleeves with just a little bit of elastic. And the neckline also has a tiny bit of elastic in it too, which makes it super comfy. So yeah, it's maybe not the most appropriate dress for autumn winter, but I feel like I could easily style this up to be winter appropriate. But I was also thinking ahead for the future for next summer because it has long sleeves and redhead problems burning. You're sorted when you have long sleeves and a high neck. <laughs> and then the other thing I picked up from All Saints was this t-shirt. I really love All Saints t-shirts when they have this sort of special draping going on i find it so flattering and it makes just wearing leggings with this look super cool um so it's just almost tied at the bottom here but really loosely um and then and then the back is long so it covers your bum and this is literally my idea of a perfect t-shirt it's in this really gorgeous sort of orangey red stripe and yeah this is a very rosy purchase. <laughs> so this I think was half price. Um, it was, yeah, originally 40 pounds and this was 20 pounds. And I think the dress was about 60 or 70 pounds. Um, but again, I will link everything down below and you guys can check them out if you want to. Next up, I have this gorgeous pair of fled trousers from Anthropology. I actually recently have only just been sort of getting into Anthropology clothing and discovering that sort of alleyway. These just have the most beautiful sort of washed out look to them. So they're a really subtle floral denim style jean. And the flare is actually not too long, but it cuts off at just the right point on my leg that it looks so flattering with like slightly heeled boots. Um, and it just looks so 70s. I like to wear this with a high neck, like super white jumper. Really, really love these so much. I'm so happy I got these. They were also in the sale actually 
Um, I just got my usual size, which is 26. Fingers crossed they still have them on the website. If they don't, then maybe when lockdown is over, they might have them in stock still in a shop. Couldn't recommend these enough. They were also just one of those pairs of jeans that you put on and instantly you just know it's gonna be so comfortable. And you know, comfy jeans with the right amount of stretch that aren't too stretchy. I just love these. <laughs> Next up from Zara, this actually goes really well with the jeans I just showed you. It is this beautiful blouse with a embroidered and beaded collar. I just thought this was so stunning. This was $25.99. And it's just got so many details to it that I just thought it was really good for that price. Cuffs aren't very exciting, but that's fine. I feel like this is the type of thing you would wear underneath a jumper and have this poking out, or you could just wear it as it is. And sometimes it's nice just to have fuss-free cuffs. But also the sleeve is really nice and puffed up at the shoulder, so I love details like that. And I just thought it was so pretty. I'm really excited to wear this to do like a makeup Monday in and I feel like I could pick out some colours in this and it would look so pretty. So yeah, very happy with this Zara find. I feel like Zara every now and then come out with stuff like this and I'm like, yes. And I know this will stay in my wardrobe for ages. Next up from Zara, this could possibly be the coziest jumper I own now. <laughs> and it doesn't really look like much on the hanger. It's in this sort of oatmeal colour and it zips up all the way up if you want to. But I really liked the way that it sort of splayed out across the back and it just looked super like high-end for what it is. Sleeves have a nice long tight cuff which sort of puffs up this part when it's on and this bit hugs into your waist as well so it looks really flattering and it kind of bunches up a bit. I always get a bit worried about zip up cardigans because I get cold so quickly and if anything like a zip or anything is touching my skin, I get so cold. <laughs> and I also just don't find it very comfortable, but this one actually doesn't, like, doesn't do that at all. So I was very happy about that. I'm pretty sure this was sold out last time I checked, but fingers crossed, they still have it. I will link it down below and you can always put your email in for the size you like, if you do like it. I went for size small in this. I've been on the lookout for the perfect white shirt for a long time now. And I keep trying to get one from a charity shop and it just, every time I buy one, I end up failing with the way it looks. <laughs> it just doesn't look great. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna bite the bullet and get a proper shirt. <laughs> and I'm so glad I did because this one is just stunning. It's just so perfect in every single aspect. When I was at uni, one of the first projects we did was to make a shirt. And so ever since then, I've been so particular about all the bits on the shirt that I want to be a certain way. This one is a very masculine cup, which I really love. It's got, the sleeves look super short, but they actually are full length. It's just the fact that the armhole is really big. The only thing I don't like about this shirt is the fact that the buttons are hidden, but I can get over that. <laughs> My favorite part is the hem. It kind of has that sort of um, curved hem at the front and back, and it's just so gorgeous. I bought this to style underneath really chunky jumpers, and my knitted vest, so very happy with this. This next purchase is quite random for me. Um, I went to Ikea a few weeks ago and they have a big Asda next door and so I went and looked in the George clothing and most of it made me really cringe with how disgusting the fabrics were and just makes me so angry. <laughs> Well, they're saying that you can find some really good gems in supermarket clothing shops. I've actually found some really good things in Sainsbury's to you before. So yeah, I always give it a chance and I have a little look. And this time I found this really cute blouse from Asda. It's in this sort of like seersuckery pink fabric. And I think they also did this in white, but the white looked quite blue and it looked like it had been washed with darks. So didn't go for that one. I just thought this was so me and so easy and I loved the little ruffles. This would look really good just tucked in some jeans. So I'm very excited to wear this. I just ran downstairs to grab another item that I forgot about and I definitely want to show you guys. If you don't follow me on Instagram then you guys will have not seen this amazing 
bargain that I found in TK Maxx the other day. So I'd say Chloe is probably my all time favorite brand. Um, and if I had all the money in the world, I would have a wardrobe full of Chloe items. <laughs> so I was just casually browsing as you do in TK Maxx. And then I found this and I was just like, what? I was so confused for a while. And then I knew that TK Maxx have their like gold label things, which are a bit more expensive and they're from big brands. I didn't think I'd actually ever find one. <laughs> I kid you not, for the whole day, I felt like I had just found the golden ticket. So originally this was 1,270 pounds and it was reduced to 91 pounds. So obviously like still expensive for a blouse, but for a Chloe blouse, actually insane. Yeah, I was not expecting to buy this but I just could not leave it in the shop. It's in a size 12 which I was a bit worried it was going to be too big but actually it fits perfectly across the chest any smaller and it would have done that thing where the buttons like pull apart a bit which doesn't look very flattering. It's just gorgeous, it's got so many beautiful details to it. Yeah I just had to share this with you guys because TK Maxx you can find some real good stuff in there. <laughs> Next up, we have a pair of brown boots. I've already worn these, so I'm trying not to get them too close to me because living in the countryside, this can only go wrong. <laughs> They're that sort of super chunky style boots. I'm actually gonna put one down. This was a bit that put me off them at the start. They have this sort of quilted bit at the back, but it's actually not that noticeable in real life. Um, and I just loved the chunkiness to them. The only thing I will say is I actually wish I sized down in these boots because my foot is pretty roomy in them. Um, so if you're interested in them, maybe buy your actual size and then the size down as well and see which one fits best because they definitely need to be worn with, well, I definitely need to wear these with like thick socks and I love styling them with like a really oversized checked shirt or jacket um they look really cool with that so yeah i thought i'd show you guys those because i know how much you liked the other brown boots that i showed from asos last time and back to zara i'm sorry i seem to be going all over the place with this haul i don't know what's got into me <laughs> this is the second time i bought this jumper because the first one i had suddenly got a massive hole in the back so i am literally praying that that doesn't happen to this one um but it is in the softest softest fabric and it's bright white like I've never seen a jumper this white and it has a nice high neck super super cozy it looks great like styled underneath a dress or um, styled with those patterned jeans that I showed at the start of the video I think the stock is pretty low on these on Zara so if you see it and they have it in stock I would get it I'm literally tempted to get another one if I see it come back into stock that's how much I love it. These final two items were very kindly gifted to me from Cezanne, which is a French brand that I have been following for years. And I was very, very excited when they said they wanted to send me some stuff to try out. And the first one is this gorgeous shirt jacket. I think this is called the Joe shirt jacket. I'm not sure. Um, but it's in the most gorgeous blue shade. As you guys know, I love blue. So when I saw this, I just had to try this one. And shirt jackets are so flattering. I have very broad shoulders, so I find them really flattering. They can just sort of fall off my shoulders. And they're super casual to style up. Love the buttons on this jacket. They're in this gorgeous brown tortoise shell. And it's fully lined, so it's just made so well. It is more pricey. I love the sustainability behind Suzanne. Just so good. I love the whole effortless French style. And then finally I have the James jumper from Suzanne, which is this cable knit striped jumper. And it has again, really gorgeous tortoiseshell buttons at the top. I love how chunky this is, but it's also not so chunky that you feel like you couldn't wear a jacket over the top. Um, I went for a size small and it goes in at the cuffs and in slightly at the bottom, but not super tight. So it's very relaxed fit. Um, looks great with light wash jeans or like matching this sort of darkness. If you open up my wardrobe, you literally see so many stripes jumpers. It's a problem, but I wear them so much. So I love it. So yeah, definitely gonna stay a favorite in my wardrobe for quite some time. So there we have it. Those are all of the new in clothing items I've picked up recently. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below 
which item you like the most. I also hope you guys are not struggling too much with this second lockdown. I have literally been so unmotivated this whole week and now I've done loads of stuff in one day. So don't worry too much if you are in the same rut. I'm sure you will have a day of motivation. Come your way very soon. <laughs> Hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.